Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. What you're about to witness is me attempting to pass the Advanced Canadian RPAS pilot certification exam. You'll actually see me sweating it out in real time, taking the exam and attempting to paraphrase each question out loud so you guys get a clear perspective on the types of questions and topics to expect. Now the questions are randomized from a large pool of questions, so your experience will vary from mine, but it should be fairly similar. Also, I'm not allowed to share any portion of the actual text of the questions, so you won't see my screen, and I'll do my best to just summarize the questions. Now, I may have to edit out bits if I think I've crossed the line in my paraphrasing. In the advanced exam, there are 50 multiple choice questions to answer in one hour, just over one minute per question. To pass, I'll need 80% correct. By the way, it is open book, but honestly, I doubt that I'll pass. I know the material inside out and I've passed it before, but I haven't studied. And what with trying to paraphrase at the same time and the pressure of you guys watching, I'll probably flub it. There, all my excuses are out on the table. Let's get into it, and I'll skip the part where I sign in through my online banking and pay my 10 bucks. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Can't believe how nervous I am. This is insane. So um, I've got two screens. I've got this screen here for taking the exam. So I've got my browser window open. I just have to push that start exam button, and, and I'm off and running. On the other screen, I've got my reference material. So I have my study guide PDF for the advanced uh, exam, and I've got my PDF for the Don's Guide to the Regulations. So those two things are open. I've also got a copy of the AIM, the full AIM, not just the RPA chapter, open. And I'm gonna, if I need to, I'll search those using Control F and then and go from there. Um, and I've also got a browser window open there in case I need to Google, you know, what a stabilizer is or some dumb thing like that. Okay, really nervous. Don't know why, but uh, I guess I'm ready to go. And it does say, and I'll, I'll repeat this, and I'm, I'm not trying to break this rule. In fact, I'm trying deliberately not to break it. I will not copy, transmit, distribute, share, record, or post any exam questions and or responses electronically, digitally, or by any other means to or for anyone. So off we go. Just moving my microphone stuff away. Um, here we go. Start exam. It's kind of spinning. Question one. Um, it's a question about um, weather and wind. It might be. Um, okay, so I'm not going to Google this. I'm just going to select the first of the options because it seems the most logical. Uh, but yeah, it's crazy. Why would I need to know this? Question two. Um, it's, uh, I've got four options. I have to pick the one which is correct. And they're all around about uh, longitude and latitude, like meridians and parallels and stuff like that. Okay, so if you know what a latitude versus a longitude is, the answer is fairly obvious. Now we're talking about brushless electric motors. And they're, they're giving me voltages and wanting me to know what the max. Who the f cares? Now I'll have to bleep that out. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to guess the really highest one. 
It's not that, you know, there, there's two that are obviously way too slow. The other one is about what I know that a, a, a drone motor will go, but I don't know. Why, why would I need to know this? Next question. Question four. We're talking about uh, manufacturer's requirements. Oh, so it's a manufacturer's question, not to anything to do with me. Uh, what did they have to do when they're, they're um, um, indicating that their drone is, is, uh, uh, meets the safety assurance things? And if you know what that is, like it's not very technical. It just is um, making sure you understand that is what that is. But why would I need to know that as a as a pilot? This one's to do with site surveys. So it uh, lists four <laughs> four options that are lettered with the letters A through D. And then a whole bunch of combinations of those, you know, like this one, this one, and this one. Okay. And they're lettered A, B, C, D. And then each of the answers is lettered A, B, C, D, followed by a space, and then the combination of those letters. So, okay, site survey. Okay, so it's not that one. It is that one. is that one and it says it must take oh wait a minute yeah so it's a must thing okay so none of their answers are actually correct <laughs> it is not correct but but well, wait a minute Okay, okay, one of their answers is correct. I just didn't recognize it because literally, and I don't, well, this is probably cheating, but it's got the letter and then the letter and then the letter, and I didn't recognize just the two letters. Whatever the hell. Okay, I don't know how I'm doing for time. It says here on here somewhere, I think. Time remaining. Okay, I, it looks like I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> the what? <laughs> Okay, so it wants me to know the the how much temperature changes in the atmosphere according to ICAO standards uh, per thousand of feet per thousands of feet. Noting that, of course, we can only go up four hundred feet. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna guess. That's the stupidest question ever. I, I could look that one up. I guess. Okay, so this is a uh, an RC aircraft question uh, about, like it says, fixed wing, and it's doing a turn, and it wants me to know what the impact of the turn is on on stalling. And I, I happen to know the answer to that by virtue of doing the video on loading or something but okay so this one's asking what in the heck a servo is and again why would you need to know the terminology and okay so that's an easy one i better not flub this okay question nine So it's a radio question, keeping in mind that we don't need to know, or we don't, we're not expected to speak on the radio, and it's wanting me to 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 explain in words how a a money figure is going to be expressed on the radio. And okay. So that's fine. Fine, as in I figured it out. Um, so it's giving me four options and asking me which one is true. Uh, true for, <laughs> for a drone beyond uh, visual line of sight. Oh, I guess it's kind of can you kind of thing.
Okay, easy. Next one. Uh, another radio question. And it's wanting me to know about radio reception. It says VHF. I don't know whether that's significant or not. Say what? Okay, it, what a dumb question. Like the answer is really, really easy, but it throws you off with all this technical mumbo jumbo and the other answers. Okay, this is an insurance question. Basically, you know, do you need liability insurance? Question, I'm up to question 13 now. Uh. <laughs> okay, so, sorry. Um, it, it's asking basically, what does the pilot need? What kind of information do they need available to them before they make a flight? Aside from aeronautical charts, of course, that you have, you know, folded out in front of you. Um. <laughs> One of them is related to how close the police are. Well, you know what? Uh, two of these are are valid things that you should be familiar with, but one is more valid, should I say, than the other one. Question 14. Another radio question. Jammer question. That's easy. If you know about jammers. Hint, hint. Okay, so this one's got a an image from the CFS, you know, like a, a an aerodrome information thingy, Bob, um, and it's basically just asking what the uh, the uh, airport number is, <laughs> but then they give it. And the answers are all in like uh, you know, like Yankee Quebec uh, kind of language. Uh, Okay, but there, at least it's not a trick question. Like they aren't, they they don't use an invalid one. Okay. Question sixteen. We're rolling. Uncontrolled airspace. The maximum altitude. Okay, that's surprisingly easy. Question seventeen. Um, I'm just looking at my time. I've got just under forty nine minutes left. Oh, so this is classically stupid and incredibly like, like makes me mad because it says you're you see a sign bearing some so a, a certain thing and I'm not going to read it out, but basically a bunch of numbers near a runway threshold. And it asks, what does that mean? not to be angry. Question 18. Um, this is how far can you be away from a person? But it's all worded inside out. Like it, it's like worded like the, the um, regulations with no person shall and, uh, you know, blah, 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 unless this. Um, You know, fortunately, all of the the other answers other than the correct one are just kind of goofy 
goofy things versus the one that's clearly a regulation and the right one. Oh, and now here we get into, into, I'm going to bleep that out. This is to do with, um, uh, communications in a team environment. So it's a human factors thing. And it asks what the most important thing is. And I know what the answer is. The right answer is, um, I know what I would, I would answer as a human. And I, this is actually in my video. So I'm going to put the answer that they, they want, which happens to be the longest answer. This is a penalty question. Why do I need to know what the penalties are? Uh, this is for sending a distress signal. Wow, I, I, I don't know. Uh, let's see if this uh, darn, if I can get this quickly enough. So I'm looking in the aim. I've done a control F on distress signal. No, I'm just spinning around. I don't know what the penalty is. I'm going to assume. Yeah, that one. Why do I need to know that kind of crap? Okay, question 21. Advertised event. What? What? It's an advertised event question. Okay, well, the answer, I guess, is that one, but it's so inside out, it's, it's confusing. Uh, question 22. Talking about um, flying in an urban area. Okay, that's a legitimate question. I mean, it, it's, you know, kind of weird, but it's fine. Another radio question. And here we are talking to uh, air traffic control. And it wants to know kind of what you need to say to them. Almost by elimination, the answer becomes obvious. Okay, so this is a talking about uh, emergency procedures and where you need them. That was question 24. This is 25. So I'm halfway through and I have 44 minutes left. I'm doing really well. Means I have time to go back. Okay. Um, question 25. Uh, the question about advanced envi environment. Okay. So this one's kind of a, kind of a trick question. It's a very easy question. But it's a slightly, uh, slightly a trick question. Just read it carefully, and if you know what you're doing, you'll be fine. Question 26, density altitude. Why? Why do we have to know about density altitude? Oh, my God. 
Okay, which... Mm. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to my study guide, because I just, I, I probably can figure this out. my study guide i have 40 references to density altitude here we go oh god um okay in my study guide i say if you want a low you want lower best performance of Okay, so it's 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 probably one of these ones. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm not. I'm gonna. I could read this one out or bits of it out, but I'm not going to. Just know what increases density altitude versus what decreases it in all the various parameters, which are air temperature, altitude, pressure, and humidity. Lord help us. Okay, so this is a servo question. How do you know if you're servo? And, and again, the correct answer that they have is is ambiguous i would say but fine i actually have this in one of my videos too because it was such a dumb question think about squealing um question 28 fixed wing talking about center of gravity Sorry, I'm in envisioning my aircraft. Um, yeah, pretty sure that's right. I don't know. I don't fly, fly planes. Oh, man. Okay, question 29. Uh, we're talking about uh, having other uh, electronic stuff near your control station. And again, I know what the right answer is, but how you'd ever prove that, I don't know. That like what they want you to prove. Question 30. I guess this is a human factors question because they're talking about um, what what's the impact on the pilot. Doesn't really say that, but the impact on the pilot of a lot of noise around where you're flying. <laughs> okay, the first question is hilarious. Uh, wakes people up. That's not what it says, but you know that's effectively what. Um. <laughs> oh come on. Fine. Question thirty-one. I'm getting sweaty again. Uh, okay, so this is an advertised event or special aviation event kind of question. What, what do you need to do? Uh, question 32. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at the very first answer. This is, I don't know why I'm, I'm finding this so funny this time. I'm sure it wasn't the first time.
so they're wanting to know a meteorological term uh, related to wind speed. Um, <laughs> sorry, I wish I would could read the very first answer because it's yeah, that's what it is. Um, Okay. Question 33. So they, they gave four different answers. The first one was funny and the other ones are like, well, maybe. Okay, 33. We're talking another meteorolo meteorological question. Uh, So this is interesting because one of the terms they have in two of the questions refers to something that I think is a um, VFR kind of thing. So I'm going to pick the one that makes the most sense. But again, it's a VFR question, not a drone question. Okay, question 34. Okay, this is absolutely not sensible to, because, okay, so they're at, so it says you've, you've turned on your drone and it asks, what's the, Oh, damn, sorry, can't say those words. So I'll take that out. Um, it, so it says it wants to know how accurate the drone's GPS system is. Now, okay. The, the, the first two are too small, but the other two depend on how decent a GPS system the drone has. Uh, okay, so this one even says it's not a drone question. It actually says that. It says we're talking about not a drone and what happens. It's a lift kind of question. Oops. Sorry, I had to read that a little more carefully than I did the first time. Okay, question 36. Okay, so we got another one of these CFS diagram deals. Um, it says refer to that. And this was this is a question about uh, who who are you supposed to um, contact? So they use a word in this question that is actually incorrect because you're not expected to ask for this word. You're supposed to be coordinating your flight. So this is an incorrect question. Um, anyway, let's. Uh, God, am I supposed to make sure the actual phone number is correct? Yeah, okay, so it's this one. So you, you need to know who, who, who are you going to call? And, and Ghostbusters is not one of the answers. Okay, question 37. We're talking another weather question. Oh, this sounds like a nice day.
it's the kind of stuff you know it's kind of okay but come on sorry question 38 uh, okay so this one I can't actually say what it's about because what it's about is actually in the question itself but it's the whole thing I've got a video about this when you're turning with the kind of the force Wait a minute. I don't think these are right. Oh, wait, okay. Yes, okay. Okay, fine. If you, if you knew what you were talking about, Don, um, then you'd be fine. Question 39, and I have 32 minutes left. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, it's another radio question. It's, it's one of these, how do you express something um, uh, in numbers? I think there's two options on this one. I mean, one of them is wrong, obviously. Two of them are clearly wrong. It's just a question of between the other two, which is fine. And I think they, I'm going to pick the, I'm going to pick the right answer. Oh, here we go. Another weather question. And it's my favorite topic. It's the word that starts with an M, uh, the abbreviation that starts with an M. What? I'm going to look that one up just to make absolutely sure. Surprised that I don't know that, to be honest. Here we go. Yeah, I was wondering about uh, uh, one of the elements. There's, there's like a list of things that might be in this kind of weather report. And the first one is the same in all of them. Okay, that is in there. Okay, that's what I was just a little worried about. Okay, so that's fine. I'm done with that one. Good. Question 41. Over persons. Under what? Okay, so this looks like it was translated from French, to be honest, because it the, the wording is very... doesn't make sense. Um... Oh, wait, that might be a trick question, but it isn't. Okay, so this is uh, um, um, flying over people. When can you do that? Question 42. It's a human factors question, and you're really, really tired. This is one of these, these ones, you know, honestly, it, come on, pick the longest question, the longest answer. Question 43, uh, it's to do with your drone and you, and there's a, a, a crewed aircraft close by. What do you do? Clearly you fly at it.
You better know the answer to that. Question 44. Uh, it's an air pressure question and how your aircraft performs in inches of mercury. It gives you four. <laughs> it gives you four readings and it wants you to know which one's going to be best. So you, so you want the densest. This is a density altitude kind of thing. You want the densest air for the best performance of your aircraft. Uh, oh, but it says the worst. So that'll be the least, the, the, it'll, the like the lowest pressure. Uh, so I'll pick the lowest one. I think that's all they're really asking. You want a high, high pressure or low pressure. Okay, question 45. Another weather question. Okay, well, I mean, it, it's kind of confusing, but their, their options make it easy. Question 46. This is another one where you're in a city. Well, I'm surprised that this is in here, to be perfectly honest. This is good. This is a good question. I like this question because it has nothing to do with ARPAS regulations. It's to do with what do you have to do to fly in a city? I like that. Good. I'm surprised. Okay, question 47. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> okay, so... You, you want to sell your drone. What do you do? Oh, God. Uh, and like all of the answers, well, no, not, not all of the answers, but some of them are like legit. You know, you're going to show the person that it works, but I don't think that's what they're wanting you to answer, so. Question 48. Okay, so this is a nighttime question. Okay, just know, know what you need on your drone, you know, maybe, well, not, not flashing. Question 49. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw the first answer. Uh, oh, this is wrong. This is wrong. No, I, I don't like this. This is wrong. This, I, this is talking about lift. And the scientific, uh, you know, theory, you know, what causes lift, basically, um, and what principle we should be talking about. And the only answer that's on here that is legitimate is not true. And that's a... Okay, that, that, I want to report. I'm going to report that. Last question, and I have 24 minutes left. What? Well, that, that's easy. Oh, sorry. I hit the, the finish button, um, but it does. If you hit the finish button, which is the natural thing to do, because you're kind of going boom, boom, boom through the questions. It does actually ask if you're finished, whether you want to submit or whether you want to review your answers. And you may as well review your answers. Although, you know, some people say if you review your answers and second guess, you, you could uh, screw up but so this is where it would have been handy if I had been writing down questions that I wasn't sure about because there were some at the beginning that I wasn't sure about so I'm going to go back and you can watch me go back so I'm on question one. Oh, this one yeah okay this is this is a question it's a weather question and 
I wasn't sure. Okay, I think I have the most appropriate answer for that. I can't really use any of the terms that they that uh, are in the question. So number two was easy. I got that right. <laughs> okay, okay. Now I'm on question three, which was the one about what's the how fast can a brushless motor go based on uh, some some voltage information? So I'm looking at some. I'm looking at like a part, part list like of different brushless motors and they're all kind of well well they're they're they indicate that the number I picked which is really really fast is probably right but that that is a freaking ridiculous question this is this one question five is the one with all the letters and like the letters of the questions followed by the letters of the options they shouldn't word it like this they should number the options or something and by the way if i run out of time that's okay because it, it just takes whatever you've you've done at that point and at the bottom of the screen it shows you some navigation so that if you leave one you know if you don't answer it 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 flags it in yellow and you can make sure that you answer it. If, if you have time, you can go back and answer it. And, and you see, one of them is a reasonable thing to, to include in a site survey. It's a re definitely a reasonable thing to do. But it says that the word must is in it. Okay, so here we go. This is the other one that I didn't, uh, I completely guessed on. This is the, to do with, it's basically the change in temperature over altitude. Oh, and there's there's the answer, and I got it wrong, so I'm changing my answer. So this is why it's good to go back, because you might have guessed at one, and you didn't have time to look then, but now I do have time. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Was that Celsius? <laughs> Celsius or Fahrenheit? Watch your, watch your units. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm going to look it up. Where the heck is it? It's in a document. I know I have it. It's like radio, the radio phraseology thing. Um, I think I'm allowed to say that. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot about those radio check things. I didn't get a question on that, but I'm, I'm amazed I have any time to, to search this kind of stuff. This is ridiculous that I'm trying to find the amount of a penalty. Okay, so I just got to that question about what the sign means on the runway. And I, I just checked my answer and it's, I don't think it, well, I know it's not right now, now that I see that. And I'm trying to figure out where the heck am I ever going to find an answer for this? Um, maybe my answer is right. See, that's where I could have double, you know, second guessed my answer and put a wrong one in. That would have really annoyed me, especially if I got 78% on the exam. It's, it's unbelievable that they would ask this about, you know, human interaction. What's the most important thing? You'd think it was, uh, but it's not, according to them. Because they want you to read some obscure book and, and remember some information that is pretty debatable. But anyway... Okay, density altitude. Let's try to figure this out. So according to my definition, the density altitude is the air density given as a height above mean sea level. An increase in the temperature or a decrease in atmospheric pressure will cause an increase in density altitude. Okay, so my material actually provided the correct answer. It was actually in, in the on the advanced study guide PDF. And um, I had done it correctly, <laughs> as, as it happens. This, this was interesting. This is the one where your center of gravity is kind of messed up and you know, what do you do to compensate for this? Yes, yes. Imagine your little airplane and you know, do some wiggles and say, well, which way would you have to do that in order to do this? So this is a, 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 I'm going to say a technical question. It's question 32, technical question about um, wind and the terminology that's the correct one 
to to describe the situation that's in their their doodad here. And I, I realize I'm just babbling at this point. Atmospheric stability is a measure of the atmosphere's tendency to discourage vertical motion. Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to change my answer on this. <laughs> I'm, going to get it, I'm going to get it wrong now because uh, I was looking up something. Yep, I'm changing it. Oh, God help me. With two minutes left, I'm changing one of my answers. Brilliant. Okay, I got four seconds left. Okay, we're done. So now it's processing. Congratulations, you passed. I can't believe it. I did not think I would have passed. Um, what's my score? 84%. So I got 84%. The ones I'd missed on human factors. No surprise there. Meteorology. Key. On the weather stuff, I got two out of six correct. Now they don't. Okay, well, wait a minute. They do tell me a little bit more. Um, so, the oh, and the radio one, I got one out of four, correct? Come on. So, uh, let me read through the ones that they said I didn't get correctly. So, human factors, four out of five were answered correctly. And I should review interpersonal relations. That's the one that, you know, I, I knew the correct answer from a human perspective, but I disagreed with their answer. I used the answer in their in the TC book. Whatever. Weather questions. Two out of six were answered correctly. I should learn about weather and air pressure theory, surface-based layers, and the characteristics of unstable air mass. Well, frankly, that was one of the ones I was looking up at the end there. And, uh, and some stuff about wind, land and sea breezes, uh, pressure gradients. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, and then on the radio one, I only got one out of four questions correct. Um, they want me to review radio procedure terminology, penalties for misuse of an air band radio license. So that was the one with the penalty thing. Apparently, I, I'm supposed to really, really, really know how much money I'm going to lose if I do something blatantly illegal. Um, proper radio hailing procedures? I don't remember a question that, that kind of ties to that. It sort of sounds familiar, but whatever. Okay, well, there we go. I can't believe it. I actually passed. I hope you found this useful because what I've done is what I, it is legal what I've done. Um, I've paraphrased the questions um, so that you can see the kind of questions, the kind of distress that I'm in, how I looked things up if I needed to, and that kind of stuff. And at least one of the questions, which apparently I got right because it was a theory of a flight question, and I answered their question. And you'll know if you watch my lift video, the thing that I'm on about that, that everyone teaches you, but is actually nothing, well, not nothing to do with lift, but is not the reason you get lift and they have that. I'm going to complain about that question to TC. Anyway, this has been an hour long video, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, yay, I passed. Yay. Bye.